the first outdoor exhibit before the zoo is done, and it's the warthogs. Uh, I like how this one turned out. Uh, did some simple yet effective kind of differences in elevation to give the, the habitat some depth. Similar to the aardvark exhibit, used these rocks as like a pseudo barrier. And this is the little guest education speaker talk and a little glass wall for the warthogs to hopefully get up close. They're very loud. It's the first time in a long time I've made a warthog exhibit. I forgot how loud they are. Uh, but yeah, no, uh, as I was saying, it kind of goes a bit of a trench in the middle, kind of sea level in that little area in the middle, and then a hill at the back. Uh, yeah, just, you know, for, for my standards, it's a small exhibit, but, you know, still pretty big, so lots of detail. Lots of the new foliage in there, including the quiver tree and the couple sausage trees. I like that they added the sausage tree. It's kind of like a, because of a documentary I watched way back when I was a kid, it's like kind of a very staple African tree to me. As funny as that is. Yeah, little backstage kind of hut for them. For their shelter. They say they can't escape. There are a few points that it's like, oh, they could escape through here, but put the elephant grass and they aren't able to go through that. Uh, the guests could easily just, like you'd think they'd just, even the warthogs would be able to just, you know, step over that. Anyways, yeah, so now the duo of Timon and Pumbaa are done. I was kind of hoping they would put uh, them having habitat enrichment together, but no such luck. Not the end of the world, of course. Uh, but yeah, I think that's gonna be it. I like this habitat. It will be nice to see filled with a bunch of baby warthogs too running around. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be it for this one. I like it. This one feels like an actual like zoo exhibit. A lot of my habitats just look like natural like cut and paste scenes from the wild, but this one seems like a zoo exhibit. So I like it. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be it. Thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to help the channel grow. 72 subscribers now. Let's get it to 73. Alright, thanks for watching.